is this carving of a creature that, well, looks very much like a stegosaurus. In the Carlisle Cathedral in England lies the tomb of a church leader known as Bishop Bell, who was buried in 1496. Surrounding his grave is a brass plate with several animals carved on it, including what appears to be two long-necked dinosaurs. And at Natural Bridges Monument in Utah, there is an Indian petroglyph drawing of a creature that looks very much like an apatosaurus. How do these people know how to draw this dinosaur unless they, or someone they knew, had actually seen it for themselves? Because this was carved over 800 years ago, this was well before dinosaur fossils were unearthed and rediscovered and reconstructed. These findings and accounts blatantly contradict the prevailing scientific worldview, which says that dinosaurs died off a long time before man came to be. Here's a drawing by the famed Leonardo da Vinci in the possession of the Royal Trust Collection. This was made circa 1518. It primarily consists of cats and lions, but in the middle is a picture of a dragon. Now what does that look like? Again, this was long before dinosaur fossils were found and reconstructed several hundred years later. Or what about the famed legend of St. George? Though often many people would say that this has become embellished into mere fantasy, take a look at this artist's depiction of the dragon that St. George was, was slain in, this, in a book that was published in, in the 1500s. When we compare it to a dinosaur or a reptile illustration in the layers of dinosaurs, we see the, the resemblance is striking. Finally, one of the many examples, last of the many examples that we can give, this artifact is one of the oldest artifacts that we've seen thus far. It's from, it is, this is Chinese artwork found from around 4,000 years ago carved out of turquoise. How cool is that? You know, it doesn't take much imagination to say that looks just like a dinosaur. Back to the question of what happened to the dinosaurs. The answer is probably quite simple. The evidence points to the fact that they've lived with people throughout history, and they've all since unfortunately died, at least as far as we know. Just like the Tasmanian tiger, the big-footed bandicoot, the dodo bird, and hundreds of other animals, the dinosaurs slowly declined in population over the centuries until they finally became extinct. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of the awesome creatures that once lived on Earth not all that long ago. We hope we've answered some questions you might have had about dinosaurs, but more importantly, we hope that we have sparked your curiosity to explore this topic further. Again, as you explore this subject deeper, always be a good scientist, being sure to distinguish between what is fact and what is idea. As again, I researched information to discuss here tonight, excitement grew because of all the amazing findings that I'm discovering and coming across. As we said before, this is a massive topic, and the horizon is full of new and exciting evidence showing us more about the land that once was. You know, science is all about asking good questions, so as scientists, you guys get to ask your questions in just a second about the topics we have discussed tonight. After we finish, be sure to get a copy of our production, our DVD product uh, that we produced on the back table as well as up here. It includes some other fascinating topics we weren't able to cover tonight and cool animations throughout. So thank you so much tonight for being an awesome crowd. We really appreciate it.